I'm Nikki, I'm Tommy Tippy's Health Professional Liaison Manager and today I'm going to talk to you about our Closer to Nature electric steam steriliser. Before you sterilise your bottles, it's important to make sure your bottles are nice and clean. Wash them in hot soapy water or on the top rack of a dishwasher on a hot cycle avoiding strong coloured foods. Good hygiene is important so you need to make sure that your surfaces are nice and clean and you've washed your hands and used a hand serum. Now we've got our clean bottles, we're going to load the steriliser. Firstly, take 80 ml of water. This can be measured using the bottle as it's clearly marked. Pour it into the bottom of the steriliser. Load your bottles onto the bottom tray. This holds up to six bottles. Place it into the bottom of the steriliser. Take your top tray. Load your collars and teats. You don't need to separate your collars from your teats. And put your lids inside a lip on the inside of the top rack. Place any additional soothers inside your rack and we'll provide you with teat tongs. They need to go onto the top of the steriliser also. Place the top rack inside. Put the lid on. Press the button and the sterilising cycle takes five minutes. Allow an additional five minutes for the unit to cool. If the lid remains on the steriliser, the products will remain sterile for up to 24 hours. Now we're ready to unload your steriliser. Before we start, ensure you've cleaned your benches and washed your hands. Remove the lid. This can be used as a sterile work surface. Take your tongs. Remove your soother from the steriliser. It's important to squeeze the baglet to release any water that may be trapped inside. Take your lid and remove the teat and collar using your tongs. Place it in the work, sterile work surface and replace the lid. Remove your bottle from the bottom rack, place inside the sterile work surface and your bottles are now ready for their milk. It's important to descale your steriliser at least every four weeks or at the first sign of discoloration.